It's great to be in a room with all the people that are in the industry. Um, it makes it an easy way to start conversations with new people and um, just generally to get a catch up on what everyone's thinking about the market at the moment. I think everyone was there for a reason. Um, or there to you know, have an introduction or, or make a meeting or make a purchase or, or make a sale. And so I think the, the atmosphere is really positive. I think there are a lot of um, things starting to swing into gear. What was really interesting to note was the number of attendees from outside the energy industry who see now that renewables is a key part of their industry going forward, whether that be secure generation or just another way of generating income. What really struck me was the, um, the focus of all the people there to work towards a net zero carbon uh, uh, transport uh, system, but also to promote solar storage in the residential development arena. It's really encouraging to see that subsidy free solar is back on the agenda. There are many developers there looking to make connections, find new land, and interested in, in talking to us about what we're seeing in the market. It was interesting that there was uh, a recognition there was a real challenge to uh, move the car industry forwards. Um, there was lots of discussions around new technologies, about vehicle to grid. So it was really about getting everyone, all the moving parts that are involved within the EV market to actually work together to try and meet that ambition of net zero. I think the biggest challenge for, for this whole system is, is getting um, the availability, quality and use of data right. Um, I think every, every conversation you have, it hinges on having the right information having information that can work with other people's information mm -hmm. uh, and then using it in the right way to make sure that you're achieving whatever efficiency you're doing and that the customer doesn't lose out. A session that I went to, which was about regulation and saying that the difficulties there are with putting regulation in initially to give people some guidance yeah. versus people embracing technologies and, and taking that innovation, innovation forward um, and then fitting the regulation around it. Yeah. The other takeaway is that you know, this technology is getting cheaper, it's, it's getting a much easier decision and, and, and really the barriers to its deployment should, should be just starting to fall away.